I was born in El Salvador, and people usually know El Salvador because of the gangs and the stuff that was happening there. So after the Civil War ended, the gangs really took over the country. So my dad is a mechanical engineer, and he owned his little shop, and he worked with printers and like computers. He's always been really good with that. And so the gangs took advantage of that, and they had him like write death threats for them. And he, they got, they went so far as to even have him deliver them for him. And so when my dad refused to keep doing that, uh, they threatened his family. And so it was me, my dad, my brother, and my mom. And so they threatened that my, that our family was going to be in danger if he didn't keep delivering those notes like they wanted him to. So my parents, trying to save us, decided from one day to the next, we went to the embassy and we got our passports and we were gone like a day after that. So we went to Reno, Nevada because my dad's sisters lived there. And while we were there, my parents divorced pretty soon after that. So we moved around a lot. Um, when I was 14, um, I was baptized into the church. I wasn't a part of anything really until that point. And then I really, f we came to the place where we lost the house that we lived in because my mom couldn't make the payments by herself. So then we ended up moving here to Utah because my mom's family is here. And it was just, it was exactly where we needed to be. So after high school, it's a really, I mean, it's one of those places where you have to pick a road because you're at the point where you've done everything you were supposed to do up until that time. And the decisions that are made at that time are so, so important. They're gonna affect the rest of your life. And if you make a decision that could get you in some trouble, you're gonna regret it forever. But if you make a decision like going to school and getting an education, trying to avoid student debt, you're gonna be so grateful to yourself later on. And obviously I'm not at that point yet, but I'm already grateful to myself for the decisions I made at that point. So there's a lot of, those decisions have to be made carefully. And I always knew growing up that school was gonna be something that I was gonna to have to pay for myself. We weren't, um, I'm not, I wasn't able at the time when I started school to get like government assistance, like FAFSA I couldn't apply for. Um, I couldn't get like school scholarships unless it's from a private institution like LDSBC. So LDSBC is one of the few places that I could get scholarships from. Um, even though I got really good grades in high school and I've always been a really good student, I didn't have the opportunity to get the aid that I was going to need. So. That was probably the biggest thing that drew me to LDSBC. Student debt is something that's so easy to get into. It's, I mean, you almost don't even have to think about it and you just sign a paper and then you sign something that you're gonna be paying off for until you're 70 years old. So it really means a lot to be able to have something affordable where I can actually go to school and then I can leave and not have to worry about paying back something that I did later on. Once I'm done with school, then that chapter of my life is closed and I don't have anything negative that goes on with me later on. And LDSBC gives me the opportunity to have affordable schooling, but still in something that I'm going to be able to make money in later on and something that's going to carry me through the rest of my life. The environment here is really conducive to being able to study and to really like focus on what it is that you're supposed to be doing at that time. Um, I find it really easy to focus on my schoolwork when I'm here. Um, sometimes I come early for before I go into a class so that I have time to do homework in the little study areas that are there because it's just, I feel like I can focus a lot better there. So math has always just been something that clicks in my head. Growing up I didn't really like math but I was always good at it so I would like have a really bad mood or a really bad attitude while I was doing my math homework. Um, and then once I finished Pathway and I had to decide what I wanted to go into later on, um, I just, I, I looked at the list and I knew that I wanted to come to LDSBC, so I looked at the list of majors that are offered here and accounting just, it just seemed to make sense. I took my first accounting class and it was amazing. Everything fell right into place and um, at my place of employment, I had the opportunity to do some of the things I was learning there and it just, it just kept going from there. And now I know it's exactly the major that I was supposed to choose. It just feels like a big puzzle and I think that that's fun. 
it's really fun to see how all of the different things fit together, uh, trying to come up. And it's one of those things where like, you can take a big box of receipts and invoices and just a ton of papers, and you can organize it, put, put it into a software, put it all into one place, and then by the end, you've taken something that's a big mess, and it's just like, it's just pretty. It makes sense, and it's helpful. So I really love that about accounting, and then I also, it's, I feel a lot of satisfaction once I'm finished with something like that. Like it's just organizing things is like my favorite thing in the planet, so. <laughs> I really love, so in all of the accounting classes, they do what's called a shoebox project, and they really just give you a stack of things to put together, and you're supposed to prepare financial records from that. And it was interesting because I did that, and this was in my Accounting 101 class, so like the very first one, that's the, one of the important things that you do. It's like one of the major parts of your grade. Um, a couple of months later, I was at work and my boss walks in with a big box of receipts and everything for the previous year. And I went through the exact same steps that I did in my shoebox project to finish this project at work. Um, after that, my boss has introduced me to other business owners that need like financial records put together or insight on their company. So I've really had the opportunity to take the things that were being taught and they're like real life things that you can actually use. It's not just like things that you do for a test and then forget. So it's, it's like stuff that you go out there and you use and it helps you. Teachers really want you to learn the material. It's not so much a, okay, we just want you to get in and get out, but comprehension is really important. So applying the principles that we're learning to real life has, especially in accounting, I mean, you can't really teach it effectively without applying it somewhere. And there's a lot of opportunities to do that. There's something really cool that LDSBC does where there are some classes where the students put together what they're gonna learn in that semester. And it's interesting because it's not just a teacher telling you, okay, this is what I want you to do and these are the steps you're gonna follow but they make you sit down and think, okay, what do I actually want to get out of this class? And there's something that LDSBC focuses on knowing things, like learning them, doing them, and then ultimately becoming the type of person that is like the savior. And so the things that you learn, even if it's math or English, ultimately helps you be more like the savior. And it's, it becomes a part of who you are instead of just something that you do. The majors and the programs that are offered at LDSBC are picked specifically because they're needed now. There aren't any majors at LDSBC where you're gonna graduate with that and then you're not gonna be able to apply it later in life. So there's a lot of thought and careful consideration put into all of those. So you really can't go wrong with any of the majors that are offered here. Yeah, I really do feel like LDSBC is preparing me to become someone because that's like the ultimate message of LDSBC. You don't just learn things, but you become a better person. And so I feel like learning how to be responsible, making sure that I finish the things that I need to finish and that I'm at the end of the day a better person than I was yesterday. I think that's like the purpose of life, right? We go out there and we affect a lot of things, but ultimately what matters most is who we are at the end of the day. So. LDSBC makes me a better person and I think that's really like all the preparation I need for life.